everyone cat weasel here welcome to the channel and welcome back to another episode of subnautica okay what have we gotta do we've got to make some things i think let's have a look yes we need a rebreather that's going to be very useful and we're also going to need a propulsion cannon and a laser cutter so i think we can make a laser cutter because we got some diamond didn't we from that time capsule so we'll make a laser cutter and a rebreather and a propulsion cannon i think we've got to get the welcome the abortion captain so set the bleach because we need some water I think we need a silver for a wiring kit. Sweet. And we needed some cave silver, defo. And two diamond. And let's go and see what we can make. Can we make the laser cutter? Not sure we can, we shall see. Laser cutter, yes. These things are so useful, man. So, laser cutter there, we'll put it down there. And, yeah. Propulsion cannon, we need the actual blueprint. And for the rebreather, we need a wiring kit, so we need one extra silver. We can get the fibre mesh though. We'll do that now. Won't bother with the seam off, we'll just use. I think they're over in this direction. We'll just use our sea glide. Not far to go. Let's get close enough to it to cut it. I think we only need one. Fibre mesh. I'll check. I'll check. We'll see. We shall see. Go in the right direction. Right. That was all we needed, wasn't it? Yes. So we need some silver and at the same time Welcome aboard, Captain. we need propulsion cannon fragments but from what I recall they're over here so we're going to head over here and at the same time we get into an area where there are plentiful sandstone outcrops Get the propulsion cannon bits and bobs first. We've got a radio message. We do not want to go that side of the Aurora. It's Reaper territory. And that's bad. Right, so what we're looking for around here is looking for boxes strewn around. I think we've had a look in these boxes, so we'll carry on a bit long. Or have we? I don't recall. Let's go and have a look. Yes, I think we have. They, they all look empty. We can always go back and check at a later date. But sure, up here. But a lot of the boxes around here have propulsion cannon fragments in them. By magic. We need one more. It's just that if we're going onto the wreck of the Aurora, it's just really useful to have a propulsion cannon because there's a lot of uh, wreckage and debris in there. I 
the propulsion cannon sort of can move it around. Another box anyway. I always thought there were more boxes than this knocking around. Oh, we've got Officer Keen. Gotta check him out. That is an extremely useful bit of scrap. This is a power transmitter. It just allows you to transmit power from, say, a thermal plant, or even, there we go, or even a um, solar panel over a long distance. It is useful, so we may as well pick it up. Now we've spotted it, and that looks like a propulsion cannon to me. Brilliant. Now we've got that, we can head down here and we are looking for sandstone outcrops, which there should be a few along here. There's one. Oh, there's three there. Surely one of them has silver in it. There's silver straight up. A bit of lead. More silver. Oh, there's loads of them here. More silver. Some gold. Lithium. Always funky. And a shale outcrop. These are awesome. You can actually get diamonds from these. And we got lithium, but uh, that'll always come in. Let's pick up some salt while we're here. Always need water until we get a water filtration plant. I think that'll do. We'll go back and do some building. Get our propulsion cannon. What I might do is we might go and um, do Officer Keen first. Once we get the propulsion cannon, and now we've got the laser cutter, we could do the Aurora. But, that, that takes about an episode. It's a bit involved. So, we'll do that next episode. This episode, we'll just check out um, Keen. And, uh, some good stuff near where his life pod is. So, we'll go, we'll go there. And we'll do the Aurora next episode. Sounds like a plan. Uh, everything's going a lot quicker now. We've got the seam off. uploaded to PDA. Okay. Tools. So we just we need a wiring kit for that as well, but I think we got enough silver to make two. We did. So that's cool. So we'll get the rebreather first. That'll allow us to stay under for longer. Unfortunately, we can't use it where there's radiation. So uh, we are going to have to sort that radiation out. We've got another radio message as well. We are popular. Propulsion cannon. And I think that was all we needed. Oh, water. Of course, water. Right, let's drink some water. Uh, so, this rebreather is just awesome. It's using up a lot of space, though, as is the propulsion cannon. This is Sunbeam. You know Aurora. 
We're from a little transgov on the far side of Andromeda, and we have a saying there. There's no bad without the good, no good without the bad. Sounds like you tasted a bunch of the former, but that only means you're overdue a whole lot of the latter. Might just be we're in. We're scanning for somewhere to park. We'll be in touch when we find it. Sunbeam out. Well, that's very deep. Thank you, Sunbeam. And okay, so I'm re I'm thinking about my plan now. Um, perhaps I should do the Aurora first. Yeah, we'll do the Aurora first. Welcome aboard, Captain. Change my mind. This is metals, isn't it? So some lead in there, uh, the lithium in there, the gold in there. We will need to clean out. There's a lot of stuff in the Aurora, so let's get rid of. Keep the salt because um, I'm gonna make some more water, I think. Keep a couple of first aid kits. Ah, fire extinguisher. Do with um, will one be enough? It might be, it might be, and in fact there's plenty of water on the Aurora as well, so I'll leave the salt in here. Um, oh, decisions, decisions, probably need at least one more fire extinguisher, for which I need titanium. So let's go and get some. up down here and uh, yeah I could do with catching a couple of uh, fish as well and eating them uh, let's have a look it's always worthwhile having a search here in the kelp forest as well I haven't really done that much of uh, here's an easy two we've already got a mobile vehicle bay fragment so we will get titanium instead yeah it's always worth having a route around in here as well it's only for scrap it is full of sharks though so you do have to be uh, a bit quick pick them up And a hover fish. You can eat these as well. So I'll eat a couple of those. I don't think they're that good eating. Have you noticed how the fish are a lot more sluggish though at night? Well, that should be plenty enough. that so uh, we'll cook a few of these up consider disguising the flavor of unsavory meat with salt or locally sourced herbs and spices so that shows what they think <laughs> cooked over fish so that's all good. We'll get the extra titanium we need. Now we can make a couple of... I think we can make a couple of fire extinguishers. Yes, we can. So we've got three. That should be more than enough. Firm, low fat, reptilian flesh. Right, and. Okay. Boomerang, I'd just cook it and eat it. Why not? So we'll bet that as well. If we have got some copper ore, we'll uh, ditch that first. 
and then we'll go to the Aurora instead. Yeah, that might be the best call. We'll do the Aurora instead. Welcome aboard, Captain. So, when you go into the Aurora, what you need to do is you need to head for the nose of the vessel. As I've said, don't go on the other side. And don't go too right to the nose. I'll show you where to get in. But uh, the nose of the vessel has a nasty leviathan on it. A reaper. And the other side of the aurora has loads of reapers on it. Unfortunately, the explosion ripped a hole in the front of the ship and that's where we can get in see where the ship's collapsed in the front so that's where we're going to head below us is that uh, cliff that has all of the sandstone and shale outcrops on it when you get to about here this is where you're getting very near Reaper territory and we've got to be very careful. We can afford to go a bit further up. Still okay. Just keep your eye out for those Reapers. Right here. It's around here where you're looking to get inside. Just where you're getting the blue markings on the side of the ship and if we just go up towards the surface don't come much further than this down here because over there reapers man so you're looking for where you can get in around here so just scoot in like this life form readings in this region are sparse the aurora's radioactive fallout will have devastating effects on the alien ecosystem if not contained within the next 24 hours. Right, so we're just going to move up here. As you can see, there's loads of those little um, annoying crab creatures here. See them running around? And that's what we need. One of the reasons why we need the propulsion cannon. So I'm going to actually put that where into my hot bar so we've got the propulsion cannon we've got the um, laser cutter which we'll need as well and we'll need the repair tool we won't need the sea glider so there we are Rid of that now we're gonna come out first thing I'm gonna get is my propulsion cannon and we're gonna have some fun now you point it at one of these guys fire them off because if you don't they'll run up to you and take a bite out of you I think we killed one there is it dead? it is so we will quickly scan it because it's dead and then we'll no we don't want that on that now, there are a couple of ways to get in. We can get in here, or we could come out here. We're going to come out there. So I actually came around a bit, uh, a bit too far. I'm going to show you the top way in. I think this is the best way in. Warning: ship structural. Integrity is low. Fire suppression equipment and laser cutters may be required. Got Exploration him. is conducted at your own risk. Yeah, we've got all that, don't you worry, love. God, I hate these little guys. There's also a lot of batteries on the ship, which will probably be good news for us, because... Uh, 
kill up. there's a battery great because it does use up a quite a lot of juice the propulsion cannon especially if you're killing all these little crab things these cave crawlers as they're called caution scans show the digestive tracts of nearby life forms contain human tissues yeah they've been eating the crew haven't they so I'm killing them you got a bite out of me. <laughs> oh, that's it. Ah! Damn it! <laughs> Guess I've run all the way back up now. Duh. Tell us about the rabbits, George. Apologies for that. Oh, how did I miss this one here? Now that's going to bite me. Just got him in time. Some water, that'll come in. Yeah. So, made a bit of an error there, falling off <laughs> into the water. But it's good for a laugh. Yes, if you're doing this, don't fall off into the water. Just means you have to run all the way back round again. We've only got 7% power on the propulsion cannon now. It does run out of juice very quickly. Just got enough for him, I think. And we'll press R. Put one of our new batteries in. We do have the battery charger now, so once we get back to the ranch, we can start uh, recharging them. Right, onto here. We may come back to the Aurora a couple of times. In fact, we've got to at least come back one more time because um, I don't think we can get into the captain's cabin yet. So this is the way in, the top way in. We'll make our way around to the bottom, as you can see. Get an extra fire extinguisher, which is helpful. Another first aid kit. Now we're going to switch over to fire extinguisher. Put that in. There. Start putting some fires out. Make our way around here. What was that a propulsion cannon? There is a propulsion cannon there. Integrating new PD. Exiting sleep mode. Loading voice recognition. Engineer Barkley and Chief Technology Officer you identified. Drone, get me a propulsion cannon. Repulsion cannon retrieved. Hey, Berkeley, install that circuit box with that repulsion cannon and you'll punch a hole in the cargo bay. Damn it, drone, I said propulsion, not repulsion. Recalibrate sensors. Sensors recalibrated. Sensors aren't the problem. I tweak the program. It's like you now. It doesn't like being told what to do. <sighs> drone, I know... His name's Albert now. Albert, I know it's not your fault, but it would really help me do my job if you'd bring me what I asked for. Thanks for your time. Propulsion can be retrieved. Thank you. Now go away. Entering hibernation mode. Boss, this hobby of yours isn't making my job any easier. Or safer. Maybe so, but it's all that's stopping me from being so bored I take a spacewalk in my skivvies. Aurora systems are running on local reserve power. 
Unable to remotely download black box data. Right, we'll take that poster. New PDA data. Generally, we'll pick that sort of thing up at another time. New blueprint acquired. Integrating new PDA data. Right, I've picked up a few batches here. I don't think we'll need any more. You don't have to put out all of the fires. Just, uh, just make it easier for yourself to uh, run around. Now here's an example of where we'll need the propulsion cannon properly. Because as you can see, this door here has a load of crap under it. So you just get it out of the way like that. You can run past now. down here. Ah, now we need a way in into here, but we've probably got a clue. Yeah, it's a number pad. We've probably got a clue off one of those data pads. Scans of damage to the Aurora do not match any known offensive technologies. Okay, thank you. So let's try this notes to self. We picked up that pad in the uh, that little room we went into. And 1454 cargo bay code. So, one, four, five, four. And it opens. Woo! And we're in absolute hellhole! <laughs> oh, nasty. So, run down here. What's in here? More water. Take some water actually. So there is quite a lot of water in here. Let's get the scanner out just in case. There's another water, we'll take it. Another PDA. Integrating new PDA data. See, this is just telling you about these transgovs and Altera and I'm launching the Aurora. You can read those at your own leisure. I've read them before, so which is why I'm not uh, bothering with them. It's obviously something in there. Cyclops engine fragment. Let's check there's nothing over here. I don't think there is. You can obviously go up here and have a, you know, a, a poke around. I don't think there's anything around here. Particularly that I recall, just that Cyclops engine fragment over there. So we'll carry on. Now, when we go down here, there are some annoying, what? There's some annoying wildlife around here. They're like leeches. Uh, just press your right mouse button if uh, you get one on you. But they are a pain. It's why I've been picking up those uh, first aid packages these room I may as well right got one on me now get it off get it off right I've got it off me but um, was there something down there in the scan I thought there was something around here to scan then I missed. You sort of keep quite maneuver around a bit, yeah. Cannot avoid them. Just go in here. It's what you need your repair tool for. We get in in here now. Fortunately, it's not completely underwater. We've got another PDA. Integrating new PDA oh, data. Oh, got a Seymour. Duh. Uh, what was the VR sweet log? That's uh, if it plays, then um, obviously I'll put it on. But that's just reading. Good reason to come in here and to check these sort of things. I don't know what they are, what the 
the cold. They, they like cold modules, and that's got a depth module, so we're going to take that because it means we don't have to build it. Not bothered particularly about the Seamoth fragment, it'll just give us titanium. Don't think there's anything else in here. We'll avoid that guy. And next, drive room. Oh, that one needed. There was something. Ah. Right mouse button. Bloody thing. I'm sure there was something. Oh, it's. Oh, I hadn't. Integrating new PDA data. I hadn't fully scanned it, that was the reason. <gasps> the drive pull shielding sustained internal damage during collision. Do not attempt repair without appropriate qualifications. Right. And we're going to move to that, because we've got to put this fire out. Whoa, a bit too close there. Got past that. There is another extinguisher here. So we'll probably. This one's out of fuel, isn't it? So we'll drop this one. One that's out of fuel. We'll drop. So that's gone down there. We've automatically picked up another one, but we'll pick that up as well to replace it. Here's another one of them consoles, and we can pick something else Warning. up. Local radiation at maximum tolerable level. We'll pick up the Cyclops engine efficiency module because why not? And acquired. let's just see what these are. It's a breach, so we need to repair it. So get that old repair tool out. And this is what's going to calm the radiation down. Breach repaired. Further breaches detected. So there's ten further ones. Seem to be nine. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Now, to get the rest of these, you'll notice that the breaches, um, they spark. So just look for the sparks. Unfortunately, down here is full of all those little bleeder things. And they are little bleeders. Sparks. So you just follow the sparks. Use your repair tool on them. Containment breach repaired. Further okay. breaches detected. Does get a bit tricky when there's only about one or two left. But uh, Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Little get. Right. Yeah, so pick up those first aid kits. If only for these leech things. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. They don't do that much damage. Containment but... breach repaired. Further breaches detected. How many have we got left after this one? Well, we've got at least one because there's one right next Containment to it. Containment breach repaired. We've got four more. Further breaches detected. Oh, that's going to be tough. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Right. One over here. Still got plenty of oxygen. Should be okay. Containment breach repaired. Right, we've got two Further left. One detected. here. Come on, fix. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. See some sparks around here. I did. This is the last one. Yay! Right. Drive core breach sealed. Radiation levels decreasing. So cool. That means we can take eventually. Obviously, because the um, the levels are decreasing, 
hasn't it's still radioactive for the time being eventually we'll be able to take away our radiation helmet and use the rebreather which will uh, mean we can stay underwater longer and move back to our scanner so if you do nothing else when you come to the aurora make sure you do that it'll save you a lot of messing around later now we're going to use our laser cutter and you get a lot of sealed doors like this not only in the aurora you get them in all, all parts of uh, all parts of the game where there's wreckage so before you go d diving on deep wrecks and stuff make sure you get one of these and go through here pick that up why not and another PDA Integrating new PDA data. Right. Let's see if that's. Sweet offer. Ah! Cabin number one, code 1869. So we'll need to remember that. It's obviously trying it on with one of the crew. Hey, come round my cabin. What you doing? Etc. Uh, is there anything around here? Another PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Let's see what these auxiliary orders are. Degassi survivors. So there was another ship that went missing around here. By the look, you can guys can read that, but basically another ship went missing called the Degassi. Uh, around here, I'm betting it crash landed, and uh, we're going to have to have a look for it at some point. See if we can find it. We haven't seen any survivors, but uh, people die quite quickly on this planet, as you've noticed uh, via the uh, life pods another battery we can get rid of the batteries if we want in fact I've got somewhere where we can stash the stuff till later just using this here so we can get to use the repair tool on this And we're into the prawn bay. Now we have scanned some prawn suit bits, but we only got three out of 20. But as you can see, there's some full prawn suits knocking around here. So I'm betting that uh, we can get our prawn suit from here. So if we have a look, how much more have we got to get for that? Top of fish, propulsion cannon, we knew we'd got that. Prawn suit, 3 out of 20. Oh, come on. Just go out here. I think we'll be able to get another fragment here. Oh, we've got 2 out of 4 now. Must be because it's a nice big piece of prawn suit. Um. As you can see, there's some more of those consoles here. So we're going to put out the fires around these and see if they've got any more goodies in them. Don't think this one has. No, it hasn't. This one has. So we'll pick that up. And that's a storage module. That means we can store more on our Seamoth. need much more now for don't think there are any in here no there isn't there are another two prawn suits we can scan though let's 
I'll scan this one from here, which is great. And we've got the prawn suit. New blueprint acquired. Prawn suit is awesome. Huh? We'll definitely be making the prawn suit. And we want our propulsion cannon yet again. top. Making a balls of this, ah. Huh? Over there. You over there as well. Right. I think we can get up here now. Here, just make sure we have got the prawn suit. We have, yeah, we need some more diamond. Got some back at the ship, but I think we've only got one, so we'll need one more diamond. We're pretty full up here, but uh, we'll use the first aid kit for a start. We'll also drink some water and we'll actually drink another water. I should have brought a nutrient bottle with me. So these are the living quarters. So we're going to have a mooch around in here. Now there's all sorts of stuff in here, like water and stuff. There is a nutrient block. I'm going to eat that right now. Just to save us messing around later on. We should be able to get a lot of blueprints from in here. First of all, we've got to put the fires out. Our table. Take that. And pull that out. It's annoying me. This must be Ozzy's canteen. Poor old Ozzy. Here's his canteen. So he wasn't far from the Seamoth Bay, was he? Vending machine. We want one of these. When we build our base, we'll, we'll obviously make our own living quarters. And who wouldn't want to have a vending machine? Can't get in there. That's a counter, I think we've already got that. Another PDA, which is today's menu. Space Bear for loot. Cottage pie or nutrient block. There we go. Oh, we've got the Cyclops. We might have got the Cyclops. Or oh, a lot of it, anyway. Okay, let's carry on. We've got another funky poster here. Let's just check our... Not much fuel left on this, so we'll use it to put this out. then we'll drop it. Here's what we'll do. And pick up the other one. And is there anything else that wants scanning in here? I don't think so. There was a... Did I pick the poster up? Yes, I did pick the poster up. You'll see what I'm going to do with these in a bit. I can't carry them all. That's great. There is a way I can get them all together so I know where they are when I come back. Go up this way. That's cabin one, so that's 1869 to get in there. I'll do that in a minute. Um, let's go on scanning mode, so single bed. Nice. Acquired. Right. These are like storage um, bags. Unfortunately, what you can't do is fill them up 
and then sort of pick them up full of stuff. Um, I could pick it up now and it'd go into my um, it'd go into my inventory, but I can't put it into my inventory full up. Which I mean, what's the use of that? Um, but what I want to do, I do want to move it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to drop something out uh, for just for a while. What I'm gonna do is just drop a couple of these. I'll pick those up again in a moment. I just want to pick up that, and we're just gonna leave it here. So I'm gonna drop it here. And you'll see why. Pick these up because I want these. When we come back, let's see, I want the bat leave battery with no charge in it, and all the rest are charged up, aren't they? Um, put the posters in there, and I don't think we'll need all these fire extinguishers, so I'll put two of those in there as well and a couple of these batteries. And when I come back, they'll still be there. Yeah? See, you can't pick it up when it's not empty. What is the point of that, man? Got another poster. And if we put them all in some of these bags here. Yes, I want to open it as storage, please. It just means I don't have to go running around picking everything off walls and stuff. So I'll pick up another bag and we'll drop it here again and another bag here. Eventually you can take the bags with you because they look pretty cool, you know, around your base. Gives it a bit of ambiance, I believe it's called. So we'll just leave them there, that one's on end for some bizarre reason, but uh, that'll do. Don't think there's anything else to scan in here. Oh, there's some water. So I always pick up some water. There's any about. And there's yet another bag. So we'll put that out here as well. And... Yeah, I just want to open the storage, man. Is there anything else to put in there? Nope. Not for the time being. So yeah, any extra stuff we're going to put in, into those and pick them up at late day. Pull that out. So up here we've got the captain's cabin, but we don't know how to get into the captain's cabin. I'm going to save you a hell of a lot of time and tell you that it's nowhere on the ship. <laughs> So don't waste your time running around trying to find it. It was 1869, this wasn't it? 869. Yes. In we go. And there's all sorts of goodies in here, like a double bed. Scan that. PDA. Responsible autonomous relationships. Integrating new PDA data. Ooh, specimen with systems of infection. Symptoms of infection. Ooh, there's an infection going around, is there? There you go. Anyway. Got a load of new blueprints. And there's probably more to find in this. Pick up a blue cap. We'll take that. We'll also take water. Take another first aid kit. Plushie! An arcade gorge toy! have that. Wall shelves we will scan. New blueprint acquired. Pick this up. We can we'll put it out with the others. Up here. So that goes down there. Oh, in there, that's now full. Oh, we've picked up that one. But, we'll put it on this side so we know that these are the two that are actually full of stuff. 
And what do we want to put in there? The blue cap. The blue cap for now. So those are things we don't really need at the moment. When we get our own base, proper base, not the temporary base, all of this stuff would be nice to have. And there's some extra things like batteries that always come in handy. PDA Integrating new PDA data Charity So there you go uh, Not the battery will take that We'll put it We'll uh, We'll put it somewhere Another water Another one of those Another battery Can't pick that up yet Game. Put it out here with the rest. Put another battery in there. And don't think we'll need all those. Uh, water we can put in there as well. Put another battery in there. Stuff we don't really need right now. We were in here, weren't we? Doing here first. Pick it up. Huh? Rest. Put on this side because it's empty. So you can take your time on here. There, there are plenty of nutrient blocks. Don't think there's anything we've missed here, is there? Nope. Um, I'm going to go in there in a moment. Okay. Okay. Now in here. Integrating. Listen, I know I don't have the right to make demands of you, but I need you to understand that I want to change our arrangement. I hear what you're saying, and I will try to respect it. Jesus. How would you like to change it? I would like to reduce our contact hours. How much further can we do that? To zero. You're dumping me. I'm changing the terms of our relationship. No, nope, she's How is it you. still a relationship if we don't see each other? It's a relationship of a kind. You have so many expectations. I feel you just want to spend more time with that dumb guy in his dumb robot suit. That's not a feeling. It's a judgment. And I feel hostility in what you're saying. Perhaps your jealousy is a sign that you need to take another look at your business model. Why can't you just be happy for me? I am happy for you, and I'm happy for all the guys in the prawn bay. I'm just not happy for me. This is why I want to change our arrangement. You're better off without her, love. She sounds a right asshole. Let's have it right. She sounds awful. <gasps> Another poster. Poster! I might have missed a poster in the other room. Did I? Did I miss a poster in the other room? I may have done. <gasps> can I pick that up? No! Of course I can't. But I will come back. Yes, I do like sort of cleaning places out. I admit it. Carry all. There was one in here, wasn't there? Indeed. I should be able to pick this up. Yes. Have we missed 
missed anything in here, have I? Thought there might have been another poster somewhere. Perhaps I did pick it up. Yeah, I must have picked it up. Right. Okay, so those are the ones full of stuff. Still got... Yeah, I'm okay here, aren't I? What's that? Fire extinguisher. Lost something from there. What did I have... in there? It wasn't the habitat builder. It wasn't the propulsion cannon. Wasn't the knife. Have I dropped something? Have I dropped something? Stuck on a ship for crying out loud. So go through everything slowly. There's the scanner. It's bloody in front of me all the time. Bloody clown. tool there and the laser cutter there and the propulsion cannon there yeah so nice way to lose a couple of minutes there Paul okay so we've pretty much cleaned this out I don't think there's another poster anywhere so we can always have another check when we come back but I don't think there is so we've got a load of stuff that we don't really need Right, open the storage here and plonk some more stuff in there. Yeah, we don't need the prawn suit poster, do we? That can go in there. Is there anything else? Another couple of those. I just, if we find something else, you know, appealing. And uh, now we've got the storage locker to put storage locker module that we can actually put on our Seamoth. We might be able to come back and uh, get some of that stuff. Oh, there is some more stuff to go in there. Because we've got to pick it up from here. I think... I think there's some nutrient blocks. I'll take those. <gasps> Cups. I don't think there's anything else. We'll pop some of these over here. I'll keep one of the nutrient blocks just for emergencies. That was the one we were using, wasn't it? Yes. Put those waters in there. One of the nutrient blocks. Uh, it's all in one space now. And now we'll look to get out. I do need some water. That's extra space. So we go back down here. Now you can go back out the way you came in. But we're going to go out the dangerous way. But what are we up to? We're up to about an hour, aren't we? Um, yeah, but we'll stop when we get back. This will be over an hour, this episode. What we've got to do is we've sort of got to get through here. It's a bit of a maze, but don't worry. There are, like, um, air pockets in here. I hope there is, seeing as I can't seem to find my way through anymore. Here we go. Along here, and there's an air pocket. Just get your air back and breathe. Go into here, and obviously we want a bit of a, a nosy around here. There is a black box around here. They did mention it when we entered the prawn suit room, and I think it's probably down here. There we go. Black box data. Integrating new PDA data. 
to get some more oxygen. What I'm also going to do... Oh, no, I'm not. I was going to put my rebreather on, but uh, it'll still be too radioactive. Ah. Quickly onto our laser cutter. Should have enough oxygen to cut our way through here. Fancy forgetting, or thinking, that I'd uh, lost my scanner tool. What a clown. Swim through here. And we need another way to get through there. That I can't remember, so we're going to go back down here. Just get some oxygen. So remember, you've got plenty of time. Even with all this going on. So, this, what we should have is some code. It's 1869 to get into there. 1454 was the card bay. Aurora Black Box. Does it have it in there? No. what that is. I wonder what the code is in there. We try 1806, which is the birthday of you. Not you. Obviously, Chief Science Officer, you. We'll try 1806. If there isn't, then it can't be because there isn't a zero on there. It must be in here somewhere. Just have to scoop around. Ah, yes. PDA, lab access. Integrating new PDA data. We could have got through anyway, there's a bloody big hole in the wall. But, never mind. Let's do it the way the developers intended. And lab access 6483. Six four eight three. Let's in. Let's grab that. Integrating new PDA data. Grab that. How are we doing for oxygen? Okay. There's loads of, you can pick all these up as well. We'll do that sometime. You make yourself a little lab on your base, even though these don't work, it makes it look really cool. So we'll do that at a later date, but I'm just looking for things to scan at the moment. Data terminal. New blueprint acquired. Data bank corruption was detected on your PDA. Your technology blueprints have been updated. Sweet oxygen got through here. Let's have a nosy around. This is, we could have come through here as well, obviously. I'm just checking there isn't other things that we can scan. This is back in, back in the lab. Always does well to Especially in labs and stuff, you're always expecting there to be things that you can uh, have a look at. Oh, obviously not. Now. There should be a way of manoeuvring around here. Get up there. Perhaps it's on the other side. Yes! I don't think we can get through that door. I think it's that door over there. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, pop! 
go, and of course we need our old favourite, a fire extinguisher. Take that, and that. And we've run out of fuel, but we've got one left, I think. Drop that, use the new one. Voila. And we've got an extra one up here. We can take that one. And here we are. This is the, that lower level that we didn't go in originally. And in order to get out of here, yes. Away you go. And we run out. We have. We can get in, so it's easy enough to get back to that lab, pick up some of that stuff, and also it's probably quicker to get to the um, get to the living quarters that way as well. But I normally forget and go the long way around anyway. All right, this is something that was yes, we've not got a floodlight. Thought we had a floodlight. Well, there you go. Oh, well, we got a floodlight New ages ago. Acquired. So there we are. I think we spent a day and a night on the Aurora. We will be coming back. Welcome aboard, Captain. Set the lights off. It's daytime. And we got loads of stuff there. We got loads of blueprints. But the best blueprint of all was that prawn suit. So we'll get back to um, our life pod and mini base and we'll call it a day there. Um, I'll probably stay on a short while after I finish this. Oh, what's that up there? Another life pod. Let's check it out. I don't think these guys have done too clever either. Whoever was in here. Ooh, eight of us. Nice. So you get may as well pick it up. Acquired. And a PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Let's hear what this guy has to say. Aurora survivors. To any Altera crew. Landed in area of significant alien activity. Encountered predators in the Leviathan class, highly aggressive. Spectroscope scanner assigned species designator, Reaper. Ooh, One specimen attempted to swallow it. the life pod, doing extensive damage in the process. Only viable option is to make for the safety of the Aurora crash site. I have retrieved a data box with the creature decoy and enough resources to fabricate a couple of them. The swim's longer than the decoy lifetime, but it should just be enough to keep them busy. If you don't find me on board the ship, Presume I miscalculated. You miscalculated. Because you weren't on the ship. But if you had got to the ship, the radiation had probably killed you because you didn't have a radiation suit. So don't worry about it. Yes, we will go back to the Aurora. We've got to get into the captain's cabin at some point. And... Uh, we'll be able to pick up all that lovely stuff a lot of it's just fluff you know like the posters and things like that but uh, if we're gonna have a nice base we may as well have a nice base that's what I say all right, so stop here Look inside our temporary base welcome aboard captain and we have got a we? I thought we had a... You know what, I can't remember. Because I've had to redo these a few times. 
I'm wondering now if we've got a battery charger. Yes, we've got a battery charger, but I haven't, I haven't bloody made it, have I? And I don't think I've got a wiring kit now. Ah, how annoying. We'll have to do that next time. Yes, how bizarre. What a clown you are, Paul. What a clown. So, we've got plenty of batteries as it stands, but... Uh, Yes. Don't need the fire extinguishers anymore, I don't believe. And uh, the storage module we can put on now. The, uh, the Cyclops one we can't, but uh, the depth module and that we can. We'll do that now. I'll show you that now just before we finish. I'll show you where the upgrades go. The upgrades go in here. So we'll put the storage module and the depth module on. Oh, I've dropped them. I always right click and it's bloody left click. Yeah, when you want to put them in anywhere, it's always left click. Duh. There we are. So we can now go to 300 meters. And we are also on the other side. 300 meters depth and on the other side somewhere. We should have a storage module. There it is. Just up here. What I'm going to do is put a first aid kit in there. A nutrient block. And a couple of waters. And that is for, you know, if things get a bit bad. We've always got a backup. I'm going to also put the propulsion cannon in there and my rebreather. Um, eventually we'll put the radiation helmet in there. Got to let the radiation go down a bit first. And we'll put the beacons in there as well. Just saves me having to carry them. And it means I can carry more stuff. Okay, turn the lights out, didn't we? And I think that is it for this episode. About an hour and 15 minutes. Like that. Play this final radio message. This is Life Pod 7. Coordinates attached. The pod is structurally sound, but the fabricators bust. Requesting assistance. Seven out. Signal coordinates corrupted. They're always Approximate corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Yeah. I tell you, they're rubbish, these life pods. Well, look, it has didn't, like, fall a bit. Yeah, if I was that, I bet Altera made it, and it's, like, bloody, you know, cheap and twacky Altera crap. That's why the like we're the only person who seems to have survived. All right. Anyway, we're going to leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you will join me for episode four of Subnautica. But until then, this is me, Cat Weasel, saying toodaloo.